When I started the oboe at the age of 10, I had a plastic bundy. And then I think I was about 12 or 13 when I went, I went on to a Howarth student oboe. And then it would have been about 25 years ago when I experimented during about 10 years playing a different model, a couple of different models. But then I went back to Howarth, yeah, about 14 years ago, yeah. So I went to Chetsam when I was 13. Um, at the age of 18 I went to the Royal Academy. I studied with uh, George Caird and then Sidney Nicklin. And then I, I did a BMUS there whilst I was there. And then after four years I, I got a German government scholarship and I went to study with Thomas Indemuller in Karlsruhe. Uh, I was there for two years with him, studying with him. I really enjoyed my time in, in, in Germany. It was, it was great. I suddenly had this, this time just to only concentrate on the oboe. It was brilliant. Um, at the moment I'm trying an LXV Howarth oboe. I've been playing a, X, a Howarth XL for the past 14 years, I think. When I compare it now, when I go back to the XL, it's much more open. You could almost say more of a brasher sound, but it doesn't have to be because you, you just control it yourself. It's, yeah, it's a different way of playing. You have to blow differently, I think, just slightly. It's still got that typical Howard sound where you're able to still produce quite a personal sound. I, I feel I can still add my own extra colours, do things with the vibrato. It's still got that character, same, you know, same make, that signature, yeah. South Spain you, you really need very reliable instruments that you know are not going to change so easily and um, so I just thought I'm, I'm going to try and go, go back to Howarth again and, and uh, I, uh, it's, I can't complain at all, no, absolutely no problem at all. Yeah. Above all I just, I just love the sound and um, yeah, and the mechanism is great. I, I mean, I, I, have a, I make sure I give, give them a check up once a year. Um, and that's it. I don't have any problem at all. So, that's <laughs> probably it's perfect. And, yeah. And, and then also, I, I think for me, it's a, it's a bit of a... Um, it's like, it's something to do with my, my childhood in a way, you know, because I started on the house and the, this, the same... The intonation, the, the colours, everything. It, when I went back to the Howarth, it, everything sort of clicked again, really. Um, the, the, especially the top register, the intonation is, 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 is fantastic. It's so easy to play. Mm -hmm.